Before we begin, um, Yakuza Like a Dragon, I have something in the mail today. I got myself, uh, it's a little big, but you can see I got a one terabyte solid state drive. It's new technology, so obviously it's a little bit big and expensive, but um, apparently my games are going to load faster. So it was worth taking, taking, taking the chance. But yes, I got the Series X on time. I can't believe it. The box is see-through, I know. Dude, it was supposed to come out, it was supposed to get it today on release, and then they said it was going to come Thursday. And then I was at work and I get a fucking notification saying it's arriving today, so I left at lunch and, uh... So yeah, I've had the console for four hours and I've yet to boot a game up on it. I spent the past, uh, f four hours moving games, installing games, some stuff that I wanted to, to try out. Uh, I won't be able to, like Borderlands 3, it was over 60 gigs without the DLC. Have it all ready to go. Forgot that there's a Series X enhancement uh, update. It's 60 plus gigs. I paused that shit, and uh, well, next time, you know, that Destiny, you know, the big 100 gig chonkers we're not going to be able to do today. But what I did, what I did was I actually booted, sorry, hard shut down both consoles. Because the first thing I want to do is show the difference between the boot up. <laughs> so I have both consoles running right now. I mean, technically they're both off, but you know what I mean. Before we start, Yakuza, like I said, we'll do a little comparison because everybody that had like review copies or review units or whatever, you know, they showed like Minecraft Dungeons and Forza and stuff. But I want to see like Dragon Ball Fighters has fucking terrible load times. I want to see how that goes, right? Hopefully I actually get a picture here. Am I on the wrong input? No, I think we're good. Okay. Dude, I put OBS at like 80% and that was still disgusting loud. What's the white dot bottom right of the camera? <laughs> Is there one? I don't see anything. Is there one really? It's very possible that uh... The whatchamacallit... Wait, what the fuck? Why is there on the capture there's like... Oh wait, what the fuck? Did I hit the green screen? Bro, this is sorry, sorry, so bad. I've had this this green screen for months and it's never never had it given me problems. Oh, I think I know why the game was all fucked. I don't understand. I said it, and then it's fine, and then it just reset. Anyways. Oh yeah, you're right. There is a little bit of... It's the stupid table. Let's see. Alright, for today we're just gonna have to put up with that. I had to move my little table that I have for the Xbox. <clears throat> That's further back than I expected. Yeah, boy. Captain Perfectionist has been awoken. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mess with, like, wires and stuff, because I, I had to move... The table a bit over and then plop the series x in the corner because the cat it was in the the shot it was in the frame but anyways you see how long it took to fucking load the console from a hard shutdown that took uh 18 minutes 18 minutes so uh also we might get some audio and video desyncs just because i'm going to be switching inputs over and over that's just going to be like because of the hdmi switch and capture Oh, also one more thing, chat. Um, happy Xbox launch day to everybody who's, I know that the majority of you guys here are Xbox gamers. So cheers to everybody. We had to bu bust out the bubbly, dude. How many bits does a Series X cost? A lot. I'm hyped for when we have 60 year old shit streaming in 27 years. It's bold of you to think I'll still be alive. Okay, so. Let's start with uh, one that loads like shit to, to begin. All right, I guess because I just theoretically moved it to the internal. Also, yeah, like I said, I've, I have not yet booten, booten, booted a game on the Series X. So it's possible that some of them, you know, you have to sync the data and whatnot. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, there'll be a good... A good test. So yeah, basically, we'll tr we'll hop around a few games. I don't have that many, like maybe ten that I want to test, and then 
once that's done, I'll stop and restart the stream just in case we have any desyncing from switching around. And then we'll start uh, Yaxa. And then hopefully I don't get a 20 gig update like rated. I mean, I just I just checked all my shit and there was like a 4.6 gig update. Oh yeah, also uh, Dragon Ball Fighters likes to do this like three times in a row. So yeah, right now we're on the Xbox One X. And uh, it's annoying. Obviously, I still love it. It's still a really good system, but dude. <sighs> Can't post pictures like that. I can only get so erect. The foot picture for scale. Imagine not having one gigabit per second fiber wired internet downloading that in 40 seconds. Rude. Rude. I first won the Chivo Hall of Fame thing, right? I was really close, actually. Taking my 360 Chivos into account, I'd have gotten it. Pretty darn cool. Oh, man. Rip. If you want accurate results, you need to hard reset after every game. Okay, Mr. YouTube, who could rely on editing to cut out all that shit? This is Twitch. This is, this is where the big dogs play, bro. <laughs> and, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I do have, I do have Tetris installed. I'm looking forward to playing it. I don't know. Uh, nice load times, by the way. We're on the 1X. That's why I'm testing this game, because as you can see, the load times are shit. I will mash through these. So, it took us forever to get to this point. I know it's going to take us forever to get to the main menu. And then it's going to take forever to load up a match. So I'm very curious to see what the difference... I should have... I'm gonna take, get the stopwatch ready for for the next one. I knew I forgot something. That Hall of Fame was rigged from the start, anyways. Yeah. Wait, you you also noticed that all of my alts won? I actually have 17 uh, Series X consoles here. You know how they did that thing where it was like the Series X is as possible as uh, powerful as like 4300 GameCubes. What I did was I I put 4300 Series X uh, in a square to see how powerful they would be. A lot of the Series X coming to Canada from Microsoft Store got stuck in Memphis. An unfortunate day for us. That sucks. That really sucks. Did you get yours, Chris? I assume you ordered one, or are you getting it from work, or? What's the deal, bro? What's the haps? Oh, we're still loading, by the way. I have not gone to the main menu of this game. I started the stream... I started this recording eight minutes ago. Granted, I did a little... Blah, blah, but... Alright, let's, let's fast... Let's teleport here. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We're not actually playing. That's stuck in Memphis. And you just has DDA to swing it over? Throw it over the wall, you know? That sucks, man. I hope you get it soon. Do you have an ETA on it, or...? We'll just do whatever, because, again, I don't... Let's, let's time this one out of curiosity. These load times hurt? Yeah. They do. They really fucking do. And you know what? This is a, the first game I did with my turbo controller when I got it. Uh, I had to turbo this for 320 hours, give or take, to get my completion. But before that, I did 180 hours, legit. Uh, and so I'm assuming that 117 were loading. You know? Tomorrow I think made it to Mississauga. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine came from Mississauga, like, yesterday? Uh, okay, I, I stopped it prematurely, because that's what I do. I was at 32 seconds, but we're still loading. We're still loading. So, uh, yeah, now, Chad, I know that the Series X can do all kinds of cool shit. Um, my monitors and all that are all 1080 60. So I won't have like the 4K and all that, like the HDR and so on. But for me, it's the, it's the loading that's the big, uh, The big selling point. So let's close this guy. And now, I'm gonna turn it down just in case the Series X boots loud as fuck. I'm kind of worried that the signal's not gonna switch fast enough. So 
I just held the button. Oh, I guess it didn't hard reset. It's not that fast. It's not that fast. Hold up. I do find it's not as obvious as the one X of when you hard reset, but I just noticed now just the light seems to kind of like pulse. So just hold it till it stops. I just wait till the controller. Also, the controller is dope. The share button in the in the middle is cool. If you haven't seen it, there is right in between the start and select, whatever you want to call them, the burger, all that. You could see the bottom button here. So you could just do your capture stuff. At the press of a button, a la, a la press, uh, a la pro switch controller. And then the D-pad is, is very clicky. It's loud. It feels good, but it's loud. And I hope the mic doesn't pick it up. But uh, let's see how fast this bitch boots up. Wow, I turned OBS down again to like 80%. That was loud. That's actually the first time I heard that. Also, the console's on. <laughs> That's the only thing I've seen so far with my unit um, and like installing games and transferring games like I had, you know, heard and seen uh, that they were fast, but they're fast, like transferring games because uh, I've been moving games around just for the sake of the comparison on stream. Some stuff took like 45 minutes on the one X and then it took 10, 15 on the on the Series X that took half a second too long. Uh, so let's see, we got Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm wondering... Oh right, let's do this. We'll filter to whatever's on the internal only. So let's try Fighters. That was incredibly fast. It was stupid fast. Granted, there's not much installed on it right now, but still. That was like 10 seconds, right? Before it was what, maybe a minute? Probably, closer to a minute. <laughs> so this game... Is not Series X optimized, as far as I know. Right, that's why I wanted to test... There we go, there it is. That's why I wanted to test something like this. <laughs> Are your 1X tests from these I internal? Yeah. I'm comparing internal to internal, because the external is plugged into my Series X right now, because that's how I was transferring games. It's a lot faster to just transfer it in 10-15 minutes than download it. I wanted to download everything from scratch because I'm a big stupid head and I'm like, it's a new console, it's gotta be a new install. And then I was like, you know what? I do want to be able to stream sometime this week. I think this game's problem, honestly, is just connecting to the fucking servers. That was like 17 pop-ups. I think this is running a hell of a lot smoother, too. Okay, it does seem like the loading is he hella fast compared to the 1X. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> I want to see how long this takes. This took, what, like 30... I, I stopped... Prematurely, and it was at 32 seconds. <laughs> what the fuck? That took like five seconds, maybe. <laughs> You're hopelessly stupid. Dude, that was what disgusting. Oh. I got two reached. Dude, I'm getting mangled, son. First thing I do in the new console is get my butt rocked by a fucking AI. Alright, you know what? Game crashed. Oh fuck. First game I try and it, it's broken. You get into a game and start playing in about a minute, that's crazy. And like I said, this one is a game that loads like shit. And that was like totally fast as fuck. Uh, wow. What are we? I actually I made a list because I'm a nerd. 
Okay, so uh, the first test, Dragon Ball Fighters loads uh, much faster. The next test, you would probably not expect because it's a small game in the in the hundreds of megabytes. But Gungeon, uh, we're gonna do the same thing for the One X. Actually, never mind. I don't have an uh, external plugged in, so this is all internal. Gungeon loads slowly. Also, gets very framey. I don't think there's a single game that takes more than 30 seconds to load unless you count brand title screens. That's fucking wild. Um, I did read that Borderlands apparently still takes quite a bit. You could put a Google Chrome timer in the corner of the screen like an epic gamer. True. But I'm a pleb. We all know this. We all know this. Can we see a deep ones load comparison? You know what, for the meme, we'll do it. I'll have to install it, but I assume it's about 14 megabytes, so... Yes, I, Ninja. Same same, uh, same thing. I, you know what, the, that initial load was a lot faster than I remembered. That was actually not bad at all. But this game does get framey at times when there's a lot going on or like I know it's like let's say you have 10 uh what the hell do they call that like glass thing around you I'm drawing a blank no pun intended those things if you have too many around you and they bust your game will just hitch I really wanted to do like a full run and um and see just how much better it is you know so out of curiosity, I just want to see if a game like this has any noticeable difference. I also loaded up Left 4 Dead 2. I know Maka was saying in his video, which is really good and you should watch it. That was already way faster. Uh, he was saying that actually older games benefit less from this. Just because of how they are um, optimized and stuff. They're not obviously made the same way and shit. I mean, obviously, what, I guarantee that when Valve made Left 4 Dead 2 in, like, 2008, they didn't expect this. Wow. Was there a loading screen? Okay, I see here reloading. But was there... <laughs> I didn't even notice the thing at the bottom. Okay. Like two seconds. Jesus Christ, dude. Huh. Also, Exit the Gungeon is coming to, to Game Pass on Friday. That's dope. I, uh, I'm gonna have to try it again. I definitely don't see myself playing a lot of it just because it's just too fucking fast for me. It's just too much. I can't, uh, only my controller is in Mississauga. Like, oh, okay. What's up, Trash Seagull? All right, now we're back on the one X. Actually, let's do Left 4 Dead, seeming as I mentioned it. This, I know on PC, loads in like two seconds. So I'm assuming, uh, again, that's because it's like made for Steam and whatnot. It'll be different. But I'm curious to see if there's a noticeable difference uh, here. The storage and sex itself don't see anything after Memphis. Okay, cool. Fuck, man. I hope you get it fast. Like I said, I got my stuff yesterday. I was like, man, there's no way I'm getting it on time. It's taking fucking forever to get any kind of info. And then, yeah, I got it yesterday and they're like, it's arriving Thursday. And it's like, obviously it's not the end of the world, but considering I'm a streamer, I want to show the console. I was like, that sucks. But then, I, like I said, I got lucky. But the funny thing is I asked for today off work like a month ago. It was all good, whatever. And then I told my boss yesterday, like, hey, uh, I think I would need to take Thursday off instead of Tuesday. Because I'm expecting a package and it's late. And he was like, okay, no problem. That works for him because our weeks like slow down as they go. And then at like 10, I was like, hey man, I actually have to leave at lunch. <laughs> and he wasn't very impressed, but I was like, listen, I, I booked this fucking day off a month ago, and I gave you half a day instead of no day. 
So, okay, this is taking a long time just because like it's a fresh install, right? It doesn't do, if I remember correctly, it doesn't do that every time. But actually I say that it'll be the same on both consoles, right? Let's see. Um, I could just go, yeah, single player. That was actually pretty damn fast to uh, load in. Rice chopper. So, here's what I want to see. Actually, I guess I'll put myself here because most loading bars, if any, or any animations or whatever, they tend to be the bottom right. Also, I don't know where I'm going to put my camera when we start Yakuza. I've looked at absolutely nothing just because I'm like, dude, I we have to go in blind and just enjoy it because it's Yakuza. I'm worried about the turn-based fighting. But I feel like even if I really don't like it, everything else is going to be so good that it's going to be like, I could deal with it. Okay, so that was not too, too bad. Right? Uh, actually, let's just see some gameplay. So we have... See if there's any noticeable difference. Again, this is like a game that, you know, runs and looks totally fine. It looks... It runs really well, I should say, for its age. Right. Once this cutscene is over, I'll tell you where Ray put himself. Oh. Just, uh, just tell me. Or either way, I'll just see, like, once we start the game. I'm thinking probably going to be top right under the money. We'll see. If the HUD is the same as uh, the other games. Alright. So that's the 1x. Where is top right? Makes sense. What's up, Lingard? How you doing? Oh, is bottom left where I am now? Oh. Alright. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2. That's the only thing that I didn't factor in. The fact that everything is like freshly moved. I feel like that was already a bit faster. Um, that is doing like the getting your game ready and all that. But again, it's it's a fair comparison. Was that getting my fucking 360 gamer tag? I barely saw it, dude. Oh, I can't skip this though. Is it because I can't skip it the first time? What's up, Derek? How you doing? Okay, I could skip that. Let's see how fast this is. Again, I feel like this will be the least notice. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, I forgot about that. Uh, let's do a play without a gamer profile. Let's just see that. I'll have to do all that shit. What's up, Brandon? <laughs> just taking a dump. You and DDA, man. Alright, that loaded faster. Oh, it's so loud. It's so loud because I didn't have my settings. I'm sorry. You got your Xbox sex? Fuck yeah, dog. Does it go into your shot too? Oh god. Let me just invert my controller. Uh... God, he sounded so robotic. I agree. Let's follow them to the mall. Alright, yeah. The game seems pretty much the same. But there was a like, noticeable uh, improvement in loading. God, all those fucking sounds that Steam has. I don't know about you, but looking at that map, I wouldn't mind heading to, I don't know, New Orleans. I'm gonna post it up in front of my PC stand up router going on top of it, but I'm gonna wait to set it up fair. Yeah, I just had to move my little like corner table a little bit and then put the Series X in the corner. And now it's fine. Although, Brayski was kind enough to point out that the find a little little white speck on the bottom right. But again, uh, on the weekend I'll fuck around with the wires and fine tune it all. Gotta play my fucking Assassin's Creed BB. Yeah! I know you're huge into Assassin's Creed, man. I hope you enjoy, my friend. I hope you enjoy. And I know I'm, I'm not really doing much gameplay. My Like I said, my main thing is I want to see the fucking load times. You know what? Let's do Minecraft. I know... What? Oh shit, I didn't install it on the 1X. 
That's fine. It's like 300 megs. Free upgrade the Series X too. So that's all. Yeah. Yakuza has that as well. The smart delivery. Which is awesome because, uh, like I said, I was thinking I was getting my console on Thursday. So I had it installed on the One X. And I was ready to just be like, start it on the One X. And then when I have the Series X, continue it there. Also, uh, you know how people have been saying that the Series X downloads stuff faster? I hit speeds I didn't think I could. Because as far as I know, I get up to 120 megabits per second down. But on the One X, I sometimes hit like 130. And I remember always thinking, that's weird. How does that make any sense? That's f faster than what my internet is. Uh, I capped at 200 today. With the Series X. People as me. Everybody who has a, had an early console. Maca. <laughs> I get it. You're special. Okay. Why is it going so slow? Uh, That's not right. This is the 1X. Is it chugging juice from the Series X? What the fuck just happened? Making me look like a fool. Here I am saying the Series X, I actually hit 200, that's crazy. And then the One X hits 250. Bruh. Bruh. So yeah, I know Minecraft is not optimized yet. And as far as I know, the initial load is actually still slow as balls on the Series X. I want to see when you start a new world and you move around. That's what I want to see. Imagine not having an early console or an on-time console. Yeah, I know a lot of people are really fucking pissed off. I was annoyed. Like I said, if I wasn't a streamer, I'd be like, okay, it sucks, but it's a pandemic. But being that I'm a streamer, I'm like, man, this is annoying. <laughs> but I wasn't throwing a hissy fit either because I realized that the world's on fire. And I know, I know there's more important things than a toy box, but still. Imagine becoming one of those people that complain about it constantly like me. Imagine having any launch game. Imagine a game loading. First party, by the way. Maybe, uh, maybe I won't keep this as a YouTube machine. Maybe I'll throw it in the fucking fire, dude. It's pretty annoying, but uh, yeah. I want to complain. I want to throw a hissy fit. Why is it not booting? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm memeing, but obviously... The, uh, I don't want my 1X to be fucked. Uh... Don't forget to tag every Microsoft account on Twitter. Yeah. Hashtag Series X, Series S, Xbox, Xbox UK, Xbox Brazil. Imagine having any launch games. Fuck, dude. A free one, no less. I was Monka S when I saw my Series X was in Oakland yesterday morning. <laughs> What's up, Tim? How you doing? Then I'd have to block myself when I call myself out for being a bitch. Uh, that deserves one of those. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, so this, uh... I, I don't know what it is, man. Uh, on console... Actually, I find Xbox is where My Minecraft loads the worst. It loads... It runs badly... Or not badly. It, lo it runs a lot worse on the Switch, but it loads better. It loads and runs, like, amazing on my phone. Um, on PC, both of them are, like, leagues, leagues, leagues ahead of the Xbox One X. Um, okay. I think this is going to be a good test, then, because this is not loading very well. Minecraft literally runs like doo-doo these days. Well, the good news is that next year they're doing a humongous, humongous update. So that's going to make it run better when they add 58,000 things. You know? To be honest, though, as much as I'm sure that's going to murder it, that update looks so sick, dude. Let's just create a new world. Create. I'm just going to leave it as is. Before somebody watches this on YouTube and they're like, uh, you didn't even create the same seed to test the speeds? <laughs> What the fuck? 
That's true, I forgot that ocelots, like, attack reapers and scare them off. Dude, it's been a long time since I had champagne. Definitely worth it for the bit. Also, because champagne's delicious. <laughs> Riptide enchantment will propel you through the air in the rain. What the fuck is Riptide? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> like, is it just coincidental that it's all running like doo-doo? I was wondering what the fuck you were doing with the fluted glass. I was literally, like, installing the last couple of things, right? And then I was like, you know what would be fucking funny? And I was like, do we just happen to have any champagne? And we did. So I was like, fuck it, <laughs> let's do like a happy Xbox day <laughs> and have a fucking glass of bubbly. All right, so obviously this still runs and looks and sounds great on the One X, but you did notice that there was stuff like loading in when I started looking around. To be fair, it does that on PC as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Series X does that too. But the load times were anus. So let's see. Like I said, as far as I know, I was watching Stallion, Ray Cox, and he tr he tried it out, and it looked, uh, like I said, I think that initial boot was still dog shit, but we'll see. I made mead like three years ago, maybe I'll drink it in honor of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Do it up, man. Do it up. Check out Fuser, it's kind of fun, not a full DJ game, but okay. I have a review copy that I got sent like five days ago, and I haven't streamed it yet because... Even though 78,000 other people streamed it, for some reason, they sent it to me with all the info except um, the streaming rules. Because there's specific guidelines you have to follow in order to not get DMCA'd. So, uh, until they send me that, I can't stream it. Which is annoying because the game looks dope, and uh, I do appreciate them sending me a copy. But I'm also not risking my channel... channels... Uh, for a random game. Uh, it's called Fuser, Mecca. It's by Harmonix. Uh, those that don't know, that's, uh... The ones that made Guitar Hero, Rock Band, all that stuff, as far as I know? I don't know, that's not the same people, is it? Something like that, one of those. But it's like a DJ game. But it's like, the music is like... They sent me the track list right away. 50 Cent, in the club. Take on me, aha. I was like, I'm not streaming this. <laughs> It's the Rock Band people, that's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> I immediately thought Psionics and Rocket League, and I was like, this is... Hmm? Okay, so it still does that, like... That, like, whoosh load thing. But again, it does that on PC, so I'm not surprised. And it loads fast as fuck. Like, you're not going to be able to reach that lava before it loads anyway, so it's not a big deal. And then, like, after this is done, everything runs smooth. But that loaded a hell of a lot faster. I don't know if you guys noticed, but... The initial boot up was a little bit better, not that much better. It was still kind of eh. But then everything else was actually really fast. You know what I hate though? This game used to have music going like all the time. And I don't know when and why, but at some point they changed it. Like I love the Minecraft music so much. It's fucking phenomenal. I realized that my audio is like super low. I think it's because when I was playing uh, the Skyrim stuff. Hello? Uh, the music tended to be like nothing, and then they would just go like, oh, I just deafen you. But the Minecraft music is so good, and at some point they just made it where it plays a song every 27 minutes. You're just like mining and nothing's happening, and then all of a sudden it's just like, ah, ah. Okay, so yeah, this, uh, loaded crazy fast. Also, it could be in my head. Maybe it's the whole, like, it's a new console and shit. But, Maka, do you agree? This feels snappier. It feels a lot more responsive. Also, menus and shit load, like... Actually, I guess it's about the same. Uh, my games and apps seem to load instantly, but again, there's not... Uh, actually, never mind. There is a lot. There's 200 because my internals on here. Yeah, see? I was like, oh, I'm going to check out Borderlands 3. I wonder if it loads in less than four hours, and I wonder if the map, if the menu in the map can load fast. And then um, I had it installed, and then this was the update. So, uh, another day, yeah? 
How fast does MCC load? I don't know. I wanted to have that one as as well, but it's over 100 gigs. And so, uh, whatchamacallit? Um, it's over 100 gigs, and I just didn't have time to install it. I want to do that Borderlands update, uh, Master Chief Collection, Destiny 2, especially because Destiny 2 Beyond Light came out today and it's on Game Pass. Uh, but Master Chief Collection is getting an update in one week. On the 17th, it's going to get the Series X update, and it's going to get cross-play, dudes. Now that it's on PC. So that's awesome, because already the lobbies are not that bad at all. But now your lobbies are going to be full all the fucking time. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention. Uh, I, I mentioned the, the, the capture button in the middle. But you know how they were going on about like, oh, we redid the controller or whatever. And it's like, obviously when you look at them, it looks like the same thing pretty much. But this one is a tiny, tiny bit smaller. And it has this like grippy texture on the back. And honestly, it was one of those things where they were going on about like, oh, we redid it. And I was just like, okay, dude, it's a controller. And then I held it and I'm like, ah, yeah, this is awesome. But again, the old, your old controllers are all compatible and everything. Like right now I'm using... The old controller with the old console because it's already synced up and whatever, but once... Like, after this stream, the One X is basically being retired because I have no purpose for it for streaming. Um, so I'll use just, like I said, it's going to be like a YouTube machine, so... I'm going to use one of my broken controllers for it. I have, like... The 360, I've never had a controller break from wear and tear. The Xbox One, I think I have, like, four broken controllers. But I keep them just for the rare time that there's, like, a four-player local co-op achievement where it's, like... Be the last person alive or some shit. Just plug in broken controllers and... What am I going to do with the 360? I'm still going to keep it. I'll just like throw it in a bag or something so it doesn't get too dirty. And I'll just like tuck it under my bed. Because, um... Uh, whatchamacallit? I do still stream, at, like, very rarely, obviously. But, like, when we did Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, it's not backwards compatible. So I just hooked up the 360. So I'm going to keep it for the rare times, though. I want to stream a 360 game that's not backwards compatible. I just want a Series X controller, but the size of a Duke. I've never held a Duke. I don't even think I've ever seen a Duke in person. Or at least I don't... Uh... Fuck, what was the first Halo I played? I know I played Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead... No, I played Left 4 Dead 2 and the 360. So maybe it was Halo... Th no, I played Halo 1. Maybe I did play on a Duke. I just don't remember it. It's fucking hideous, though. I know people like it, but it's gross. Okay, so we just checked Minecraft, right? Um, so let's see, we've done Enter the Gungeon, Left 4 Dead, Minecraft. Borderlands are gonna scrap, unfortunately. Um, I wanna see Cuphead. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, Cuphead had that update when it hit Switch. I think it had an update on Xbox where they, they severely shrank the size of the game. And they severely reduced the load times, I think. But it's been a while, my memory could be wrong. That being said, I still remember load times in this game. And it was like 4 gigs. So I was just like, why not just transfer it over and just try it, alright? Also, I need to get good at this game again. Because, uh... I sucked ass at this game. It was like 20-25 hours of just rage and stubbornness to beat it. Why is it so loud? Uh, and then it just clicked, and uh, I remember after beating it, the next day, the next day I, uh, in one shot, beat Expert with, with ease and just destroyed it. Um, and then it came out on Switch, and I was like, oh, dude, let's 100% it again. It's so good. And, uh, okay, these load times are actually so good. No. Let's see when I actually do a level. They definitely updated this. I think I was right. They definitely updated it. You remember where that hourglass was framey as fuck? A great slam and then some. Right? Here goes. I don't know if it's because of the 1X or because of an update, but it definitely did not run that well or that fast originally. Out of curiosity, there's I don't see how you can improve that. There was like no loading, but let's just see. Out of curiosity. My arthritis flare. Okay, that was faster. 
Arthritis flared up just reading that sentence. Just discovered something really cool in Beyond Light. Oh yeah? If it's not spoilery, let us know, man. You can fail the boss battle even faster now? That's rude. This game of slappers. This game's dope. It looks smoother too, right? I'm not crazy? Okay, yeah, it does load a bit faster. Yeah. It does load faster, but... I'd say it loads about twice as fast, but it's like... A half a second instead of a second, right? Huh. Anyone here pre-order sex and not get them yet? Uh... I think a lot- uh, actually, fuck. You know what, you say that, I know JJ and Bowen get the same thing I did where it was like, it's gonna be late, and then it wasn't. Um, let's do... Let's do Crisis next. Cause... Crisis Remastered... Did have, like, overall, it looked good and whatever, but it definitely had a lot of moments where I was just like, Remastered, by the way. You know? So, uh, yeah, I was going through my list of the games, and, or actually, I think I was, like, going through my pins, and this was in my mop-up group, and I was like, oh, this would be a good one. Ran, like, fecal matter on current consoles at the time. Or even when I played this, uh, a little while ago, like, what, it came out a couple of months ago? Um, oh, it was, it was the final boss that ran, like, shit, right? It ran at, like, two frames an hour? Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, going back to like, it's optimized and stuff, like Borderlands 3 is already optimized, Yakuza is optimized, and it's smart delivery, so you could buy it on the One, the One X, whatever, and then if you get a Series X, you just install it, you own it. Um... All that stuff? So let's just do like, the second mission, so we skip all the blah blah, we'll do the second mission on easy. Let's see what the loading and performance are like. GTA 5 is another one that takes forever. Yeah, but a lot of people have tested that. It definitely loads, it's like loads about twice as fast, I believe. But again, that's like a hundred gig game. I didn't have time. I had a whopping four hours to prep. Um, so I'm, I basically tried to get as many games as I could. Uh, ready. I figured like, let's do all the 20 gig games, the five gig games. And if we have time, we could do like a 100, but Again, Halo is getting an update in a week. Destiny Beyond Light came out today. But my priority is Yakuza and Call of Duty. And either way, Destiny is getting optimized in a month. Um, so I was just like, you know, it's not. it doesn't have to be day one. But if it's anything like PC, you know, Destiny 2 on Xbox One X runs at 1080p, 30 frames a second. I remember timing uh, from hitting A to boot it to landing on Dreaming City it took me 3 minutes and 43 seconds. And on my PC, running at 1080-60 on high, uh, that same test took me 1 minute and 9 seconds. The PC has an SSD as well, so I was just like, holy fuck. Find the one game that loads slower? Yeah, it's probably the Rattalakas. It's probably deep ones. How you doing, Kelly? What's up, Snapple? I hope, you, I hope you get one soon, man. Living for the console wars on Twitter right now, though, it's like watching Lemmings walk off a cliff. They're all so stupid. You look at the official Xbox and PlayStation accounts. It's like Xbox tweets like, Happy console launch day, and then PlayStation themselves reply with, like, Jax's friendship. And then the reply is, Dead console. Yeah, this is actually running fine, but... It took a little bit to load. It was the last mission, right, that ran, like, doo-doo butter? Let's just double check. I'm pretty sure the final boss ran like fucking trash. I don't even want to do silly runs knowing that I'm leaving all those frames on the table. Select mission. Yeah, this ran like fucking anus. Also, now at least I remember that the minigun is the only thing that hurts this fucking boss. From the video Stallion put out for Destiny 2, the load times are Craigasm. Nice. Mecca that only fans keeps crashing systems don't fall for it, Shiz. Which one? How fast does my only fans load on Series X? Oh yeah, I'm not falling for that again. This is actually my fourth Series X. 
I thought it was a fluke, and then I was like, maybe it was just unlucky, and then after, I was like, alright. After, after the, the third console bricked, I was like, okay, I get it. I get it now. How fast did the Division 2 load? Well, see, the thing is, uh, see, means it's a new console, I didn't want to install, uh, trash on it and spoil it. Uh, so I don't know. Good. Love you, Eternal. Oh, speaking of loving girls, chat. <laughs> we have new emotes. We have uh, we had Shizbiel cry as a 1,000 bit emote for a little while now, and then the other day we added uh, Shizbiel pillow for 5,000 bits, and then uh, the newest one we got like the same night. But I only saw it in the morning when I woke up. Um, Shizbe, I wanted to put Shizbeel Simp, and it had Simp above my head. But I apparently, according to the Sega Master, Simp is considered like hate speech by Twitch. Probably because you say like, "Oh, you're a Simp," right? You say like as a insult. Anyways, so I figured if I can't use it as an emote suffix, I'm not gonna put the fucking word in the emote. So uh, it's Shizbeel Sucker. And it's me peeking over a, a, a table or a desk or whatever, and I have some cash in this hand and a credit card in this hand. I've given you 5,295 bits. I really am a simp. Nah, no, you're still missing like 1,700. 1,700. No, sorry. 4,700 and five. But to be fair, simping ain't easy, so. Uh, I have to like go talk to people and then I can fight this fucker. I just want to double check. I'm pretty sure this fight runs like anus juice. Oh, it's literally right there. I'm done. I don't remember the. Uh, I remember getting lost here, even though it's literally just like run in a straight line. Oh, there's a there's a fucking. Yeah, there's a there's a map by the way. There's like a radar. I'm like actually blind and just moronic. Holy shit! The sprint is nasty in this game. Use. I'm gonna go find profit before he does Can I skip this? Stupid. Was it Rowdy that's a super bit simp? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a, you know how we started the retro bit champs? He started his own little club that he only he's in and it's called the super bit simps. <laughs> that's a Rowdy. But yeah, he's the one that got Shizbiel Pillow done. Word is, you sprint too fast, you get all discombobulated. Hello. All done. It says just chatting, reported. Yeah. I guess I should put games and demos. Good point. I figured, I mean, we're just doing load times mostly. So, whatever. I thought the word simp was banned on Twitch. Yeah, but so is So... Uh, you know, I'm just crazy. But yeah, I figured that mo assuming means we were mostly doing load times rather than gameplay. I just put on just chatting, but I'm an idiot. I should have just put games and demos. But I fixed it. Thanks, Mac. Let me actually refresh chat here. Did Shiz just say the Z word? Oh my god, yeah, I said Zap Brian again, I'm sorry. Funny that the only people who would find simp offensive would be the same people who use it offensively. It's like, uh, like we were saying the other day, the people that say Snowflake are the biggest pussies on the planet because they get offended at everything. Say, hey, uh, you wear a mask. Listen, Snowflake, I don't have to wear a mask, okay? I already have one on my vagina, okay? I've identified a signal pattern used by these creatures when they recharge. I Dude, this guy looks like he could punch a hole through titanium, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, get a vaccine. Listen, you fucking lib. Let me see what I can do. What if I need to alter the frequency remotely? Fairly straightforward. Underwear is basically a vagina mask, it's true. Is there a zoom in this game? Or, I mean, what? <laughs> Actually, yo, she's fine as fuck, though. You'll be a walking weapon. I could punch a hole through titanium with my penis. I've seen it. We've got to pray Morrison knows 
Can confirm. Ants don't stop up. farts is my favorite snowflake up. quote. Okay. Wow. Nomad, meet me up at the bridge as soon That's as fantastic. Pretty girl. Not many of those in my field. If I were oh yeah, I forgot he's horny on main. Ah, there she is. Put her on the rack over there. Yep. I remember Eternal just being like, ugh. Designed to be used in conjunction with the nano suit. <laughs> Especially since you got that titanium pelvis boat transplant. What a specific joke. I love it. <laughs> Chat, how much you want to bet Mecca said that first that first thing, like I could push through it with my wiener. And then he literally just sat in his chair like this. He was like, I'll leave it to Dr. Rosenthal to find oh, dude, let's go, dude. Say it, dude. Let's Say it, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready. And then I... I said something and he went... <gasps> Hacker man. Dude, I got him roasted like ever. See, I'm the best, man. I did it. Man, that took fucking forever. What happened? What game is this? Who are you? Is that the vaccine? Okay. <clears throat> Carry on. Like... Like Morrison, the guy that wants to die? Uh. Alright, let's go up here. Can I just have the boss fight and see the frames? Or lack thereof? Dog, bro, dude. Listen over here, dude. Based on intel? Haven't you heard? Intel's dead. Fuck. Yeah, I'm kind of a savage, dude. Hello. Hello, Admiral. Oh, I found the button. What's the difference between an epileptic corn shucker and a prostitute with diarrhea? Uh. Look, see, I can punch through titanium. Man, I thought I just had to go fight the machine. This is not worth it. That's a pit. This is not a pistol. What? Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> devs. One shucks between fits, and one fucks between shits. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> hey, we're outside. We're in the wilderness. Look at me, I'm a war man. Oh boy. Dude, any bit closer, that would have hit my face. I could have got a bruise. Then how would I. Uh, I'd look like a fool at the handsome man convention. Get out of here, dude. Fuck you. Whoa. He had a monster at noon, huh? Got it because he crashed, huh? Yeah, I'm kind of a comedic genius, whatever, dude. Bong! How are you still alive, dude? Actually. Get over here! Yeah, are we getting raided? Why did it just, like, disappear? Also, they fixed the thing where raids... They finally got rid of the, the viewer restriction? That's awesome. What's up, gamers? How's it going? Thank you for the raid. Dude, that's awesome. They're pretending like they care now that you don't need to be like 4,866 people to get a, have a raid trigger. Neat. Thanks, man. How's it going? How was your stream? Imagine playing Maneater when it came out. You know, you can't experience it for the first time in action. Do Maneater? I don't know if you're memeing or whatever. Maneater is fucking awesome. Man-eater is awesome. How, how big is that game? Does anybody remember or know? Why, not the minigun. 
Dude, you dumb bitch. Take a deck elevator down to the hangar bay. Where's the minigun? There you go. Okay. Uh, dude, uh, let me just fight the boss, fuck. 10 gigs? Okay, yeah, to do it twice would be... Uh, might not be that bad. But you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. That's why I say, fuck it. Uh, full library. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wonders why he's poor and still lives at home. Sees 1,313 games. Uh, Mad Eater. What game is this? I know those hands. This is Minecraft. Imagine not having more than 2,168 games. I actually have, um... What I did is I got up to 3,080 games and then I got a 3080 and then I went... Nice. What just happened? That's not how raids work. What? Okay. Bye. Huh? What the fuck is happening? Where did I go? Nomad, I'm in the lab with Helena. Where are you? That statement caught me so off guard. No, that means he's just literally just going to chat the chat to try to get follows back, I guess. Bro, sub to the OnlyFans or get the fuck out. You know what I mean? Okay, this is taking too long. I don't care anymore. Um, let's try it though on the Series X and see how it loads. I thought I was just going to be able to go to the fight, but uh, alas, I was wrong. What's up, McGee? How you doing, homie? I'm curious, actually, how does the dashboard load noticeably faster if I refresh it? So-so. Mm, you could either... For those that don't know, you could either like just press start and refresh my games and apps or your home, or I could do the two triggers and Y and it'll refresh your home. I don't remember how I learned that. I feel like I just read it online and I went, what the fuck? And that's my story. I hope you like it. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Uh, Ray was asking about Halo. Maca, refresh my memory. Does stuff load faster if it's on an external? Or is it only if it's the, like, I assume it'll run better. But does it load faster? I'm just gonna fucking load it while I wait. I'm very curious. If it's an SSD external, well, yeah. See that dashboard hasn't gotten better? It's the exact same. External anything on X is faster? Huh. Honestly, my biggest gripe with the fucking dashboard is that the amount of ads Um, like, I feel like if you have Game Pass Ultimate, you shouldn't have ads, personally. I wish I could get rid of that whole bar. He really is just starting streaming and reading randomly. Yikes. Yikes. I don't... I don't actually know if this is loading faster. You can raid from your chat without a stream. So the, the, just going from stream to stream, then raid with like all caps and then just, I followed you, okay, see you later. But what? Okay, I'm actually curious, because it's doing the syncing data shit. Get over it's probably... Here. Holy shit, dude! Hold up, hold up. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, wait, let's do that again. Uh, let me just double check. I don't know if it's on the One X. <laughs> yeah, it's the famous TikToker Maka with 4.7 billion views. Incredible, dude. Unbelievable. He deserves it. Um, ah, oh, shit. Halo was just on the external. I mean, it makes sense, but shit. Okay, well, I can't compare. But let's just see. When is Crossplay coming to this? In exactly one week. How many more raids are you going to do, Mecca? One for every view on his YouTube. Mm. Xbox Game Studios. Dope. Can I skip this? I don't think so. Kelly, how you doing, by the way? I don't remember if I asked. Uh, yeah, let's try to load up a random campaign. Let's do Halo 4, because it's the prettiest one. Missions. Let's do... What feels like it would be... Load a ye. Uh, weird how they use the Lion King music in Halo 4, you know? I should be playing Destiny, but I'm hanging out. Well, you're doing the exact same thing that you'd be doing in Destiny. Just hanging out in a chat in a lobby and not doing anything. <laughs> yeah? What were those things? Non-existent sort of loading times is what those were. One AI. second, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. This is not even installed on the internal. This is on my USB 3.0 external part. It wasn't that fast on the 1X, was it? I don't think it was that fucking fast. Stopwatch time. Um, let's do a different mission, just so that it doesn't have... the potential of, like, a cache or something. And... I'll wait till it hits, like, zero. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what? That was 11 seconds. I think I'm gonna refund it, you know? Anything over 10 is just, like... What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Stay low. 11 seconds! I know- I know Halo 5 isn't getting any, like, specific Series X enhancements. The ship looks intact. Something tells me that's but, only because the Didact wanted it that way. Still. So fancy much wow. Can you skip cutscenes? Should you be able to transfer MCC with the, uh, from the external to the internal very quickly? Uh, very quickly still is not quickly when streaming. Why is it so loud? Jesus Christ. Oh, right, this is one where I have to turn down the capture card. Um... What was I gonna say? It, it would probably take a good half hour. Because it's over 100 gigs. Uh, no, maybe like 20 minutes, but still. I want to say Borderlands 3 was like 60, 66 gigs, and it took like 15... 15-ish? And this game is fucking how big? 109 gigs. It would take a while. Like, it's fast, but it's also over 100 fucking gigs. I think 20 is a long estimate. Suppose it depends if you're running another game or not. Uh, here, I'll show you. It's still disgusting fast compared to before. That's for sure. So we're going to manage game and add-ons. Go here. I still hate this stuff. Um, the only thing I'm thinking... If I, like, if I pause moving it, it won't fuck anything up, will it? I don't see why it would. Like, when I'm streaming Yakuza, if this is pauses, I don't...
Let's just move it and see. So 109 gigs. Yeah, these 10 megabyte unlocks get, just get schmerded, by the way. Uh, let's see. The times are stupid. Like, I did Crisis, right? It was 15 gigs. Uh, I went to go get my... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it won't be that bad. What the fuck? <laughs> It's so stupid, dude. It's already at over two gigs. Um, yeah, I went to like make I went to go make my my coffee and stuff and I came back and 15 gigabyte crisis remastered was done. I was like, how? How? But yeah, like I said, uh I was transferring actually I was transferring Borderlands, right? And GTA 5 took 12-ish minutes. I guess it also depends on the external hard drive that you're going from. Maybe you have a faster, maybe you have a faster one than me. Or it seems to fluctuate. Like Borderlands 3 said 20 minutes when it started. And then at 70% it said 20 minutes. So I don't know. Maybe it's also because Borderlands has DLC. I, like, I don't, you know, I don't know how that shit works. But yeah, you can see it's, it's like a good 20, 30 minutes. Uh, but I did notice when I was moving Borderlands 3, I was curious, I think this was on the, this was on the 1X because yeah, I haven't, like I said, I hadn't played a game on the Series X until the stream. Um, I couldn't even like load Vermintide, it was taking so long. That, um, I just like said, fuck it. Well, DLCs are downloaded separately. Yeah, but I don't know if it has to like read the fact that there's more shit, I don't know. It's just weird because, like, logically, this isn't affected by internet, right? So there's no reason for fluctuations. There's got to be some reason. But, yeah, like, see, it just went from 21, 29 to 30. or Sorry, 29 to 31. But if it's just, like, going from A to B, again, I don't know enough about that type of shit to know the reasoning. I am kind of tempted, after seeing the speed though, I am kind of tempted to get one of those external SSDs from the 1X that are like 100 bucks versus the 220 US proprietary one for the Series X. Just because I see this and I'm thinking it's a hell of a lot faster, but I'm thinking one of those external SSDs to the internal SSD will still be a shitload faster. And considering that um, for Series X enhancements, it has to be on the internal or that proprietary one. Just to be able to f move shit back and forth as you need it would be a hell of a lot faster. But, like I said, it's 10%, so we'll pause it. But that's still hella fast, right? And when you think about, like, internet connection, <clears throat> again... I tend to average, I want to say, the 100 to 130 range. Uh, I don't think I would have downloaded 10 gigs that fast. And definitely Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3, I set it to install overnight last night because I didn't have it installed anymore. Uh, and I want to say that, like, when I, again, it fluctuates, right? But when I first started it, and then I made sure that it was working, and then I went to bed, I want to say it said, like, two and a half hours, three and a half hours remaining. When I transferred it, it took... Uh, 20, 30 minutes. So it is, depending on your connection, and depending on if you have a data cap, it is far more beneficial both uh, time-wise and then just financially, if you do have a data cap, to have an external and move shit back and forth. It sucks that you have to do that, but... um. It seems like the most logical thing. Actually, you know what? I was just saying 10 gigs. Let's see how Maneater is looking on the 1X. Oh, it's done. What the fuck? 20? Right, because I uninstalled I uninstall, bleh, installed all this shit. Actually, okay, so, right. I wanted to try Maneater after Maca mentioned it, so let me download it uh, on the Series X.
Or you know what, I'll do just do the same thing I did there. Because I want to see how this loads full library. It still seems like it's a little bit faster. Right? Again. Oh, this is... Xbox Series X enhanced? Also, Mac said it was 10 gigs, but it's saying 4? Bro, you come to my fucking stream and you lie to me in front of the people? Oh no, here it says 10 gigs. Bro, Xbox, you fucking come to my stream and you lie to me? To the people? Can you believe this shit, chat? Alright, next test. What time is it? It's already 8 o'clock. Alright, let's, let's bang these out real quick because I do want to actually start Yakuza. So, the last ones I have on my list... Apparently, Doom Eternal doesn't really benefit from this. Uh, which I call bullshit because Doom does have some pretty ugly load times sometimes. I want to try Doom Eternal, Minecraft Dungeons, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Tetris Effect, which I've never played and never booted up yet. Um, and then Vermintide. So actually, let's do Vermintide on the One X while the Series X is installing Maneater. And I guess we'll, we'll do Maneater at the end. And then we'll, like I said, I'll stop and restart the stream just because it seems like everything's still synced and shit. But just the constant going back and forth of, between inputs uh, could cause desync issues, obviously. So just to be safe, I'll like shut down the stream, shut down OBS, restart OBS, restart the stream and start from scratch to ensure that we have uh, the smoothest possible experience. Also, we haven't even tried Quick Resume. Does anybody want to see that? I personally think it's mind-blowing, but I also know I'll never use it personally. But I think it's just a fucking crazy feature. But once again, I, you know what? It'd be actually kind of cool to test it with these games that aren't the typical... I can't think of any reviewer who gave an early look at Quick Resume that tried Dragon Ball Fighters and Warhammer Vermintide. So maybe I should wrap up with that, right? We could do, we could do fighters, Vermintide, Man Eater. Um. Um. Enter the Gungeon, maybe. What's our fifth one? I I would say Minecraft, but I think that the Series X does this the 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 weird thing that Minecraft does, which is like even if you go and check your achievements or something, you'll you'll come back. And it'll almost, like, load from scratch. What about Killing Floor? Uh, I don't have Killing Floor installed. But that would, that that could be a good one. But that, but that game runs and loads pretty well already on the One X. We could try it. Same with this, by the way. This game loads well and runs well. But it definitely, at like, when it gets really busy, when you have, like, a horde and a swarm and there's fire and there's bombs, it does drop frames here and there. And sometimes you can see that the textures don't load, but it's very rare. Like this, this is also a one X enhanced game. So it already does have, you know, some, some buffs and whatnot. See, it's this load that I think is going to benefit the most. Oh, what's this by the way? Cause I, like I said, I leveled it up. Oh yeah. By the way, chat, I, uh, I got my level 30 achievement with him last night. So I've done four out of five characters. And the triple XP lasts for another six days. So I have to get it from 12 to 30. And then I have everybody, uh, I get all the achievements. And then, depending on time, I might even just try to hit 35 with everyone. Just, again, taking advantage of the triple XP. For every hour I spend, I save two. 50% damage taken transferred to overcharge. Sienna explodes dealing damage to surrounding enemies and clearing her overcharge. No overcharge slowdown. Increased melee power on high overcharge by up to 60%. What the fuck? Yeah? That sounds disgusting. Also, I learned that um, your chances of getting like red items are raised. I guess I'll just do this because it's the only thing that I really have. Um, your chances are, are heightened. Uh, after level 30. So I've just been stockpiling my chests at this point. 
And I also dismantle a shitload of stuff because... Why not? Alright, let's just... Hello. Hello, bruv. I won't run the full mission because it's only like... 10 minutes, but still. Alright, see here's where I want to see. Because this loading screen actually works really well on the 1X, right? Stop me if you've heard this one. Um... As he's, like, when he's done speaking, the mission is loaded. But you can see behind me that there is a loading icon. I wonder on the Series X, like, will we get the option to just skip? Or if it'll just be, um, if it'll just be the same thing, you know? But I would definitely, I definitely think that the game won't have any slowdown, like any, any frame drops. Uh, and the loading the textures you won't see. I'm curious to see those shit like GTA, Halo. And even, again, GTA... Or sorry, Halo seemed to load faster even going through my external... Drive. Uh, I'd be curious to see GTA. Because again, it's 100 gigs and I literally only use it to do the casino... Uh, daily wheel spin. I don't play it anymore. So I'm not going to bother, like, installing it to the internal and wasting fucking 10% of its storage. But hopefully, uh, having it on the external, I still do benefit from, uh, from the console a bit. God, I really like her fire effects and shit. Totally missed. Okay. Not sure yet if I like this class. I'm pretty sure this was the one that Cully always used because he mained her for a while. And he was, uh, he was nasty with her. Wow, that took only... Okay, never mind. He shot. I was like, that took only that little damage? What the fuck is happening, dude? My bots are schmurdering. All right, I, I just want to see what my special looks like, and then we'll we'll try the Series X version. Oh wow, that's dope. Oh my god, hello. Okay, let's try this on the Series X. Uh, all right, that'll be ready in three minutes. So that's cool. I'm very curious. Like I said, I think we'll we'll notice it here. Already noticed it. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I think we'll notice it on this in this initial load. Although it is going to be syncing my data and shit, and we're installing a game. I might have to shut it down and restart it to really see, but, um... Okay, I could skip all this shit, which I could never could before. This is already faster. And also, is it just me or does it look clearer? On the Series X? It looks more clear to me. Or at least more, like, fluid at least. Even though... Apparently the One X is like 1080-60. I feel like the series has been con consistently prettier and more fluid. Maybe it's just in my head. Maybe it's because this it's the shiny new toy. Uh, okay, we're gonna do the same stuff that we just did. Good evening. Made it through another day. Seems like it loaded quite a bit faster, right? Or am I crazy? Stop me if you've heard this one before. 
battle, but the rat men have raised a bloody great bell up on Helmgart's ramparts. Quite a lot of bit. Crazy little buggers will worship anything near as I can tell. Problem is, there's no way to know if this is a purely ceremonial lump of bronze or a lodestone for our grey seer's magic. We'll have to destroy it just to be safe. Uh, and by we... Oh, wow, yeah. You. He finishes speaking while it's loading into the mission. So you do, you do save a bit of time. Huh. It wasn't like a game changer. Ah, I tired of keeping your precious it wasn't like... Cleanness, even trinkets. Crazy? Well, no, that was fucking fast, right? Doesn't Series X add 16 times anisotropic filtering to BC games? I don't know what that means. You know what? This one I'm curious. This one I'm curious. Let's do a... Let's, let's actually do a timer on this guy. Are you memeing? Did I just say something racist? Did I just be racist against Animaniacs? What, what did you just make me say? Dude... What? Oh no. I promise that animatronics are totally fine as long as they're not um, Five Nights at Freddy's. The One X does it for 360 games. That's why games like Left 4 Dead look a lot more crisp and clear, right? But I feel like even Halo, like Halo 4 is still gorgeous, but I feel like on the Series X, it looked like stupid good. And it looks really fluid. I don't know. Okay, pressing A and start at the same time. Let's see how long this initial load is. Series X does auto HDR to some games, doesn't it? Yeah. I thought you loved FNAF. Yeah, it was great. As, uh, as my buddy Light always says, it's great if you want to be sober and vomit, right? All right, 20 seconds. That's 20 seconds of my life I'll never get back. Uh, thank you, Fat Shark and Xbox. Appreciate it. Glad that you don't value my life as a uh, citizen. That's good to know. I'm glad I give you my money and my time. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to skip all that shit, which I never knew you could do. Okay, press A to start game. Great for his bank account, not as great for his lifespan. Yeah. Oh, don't do this to me. Uh, I guess it makes sense because we're hopping back and forth between consoles. We're at 55 seconds. One minute. Also, uh, uh, I'm not memeing. I'm not memeing. It is taking that long. So this is this is timing from pre like pressing A on the game to loading into the hub world, and then I'm going to time hub world to mission. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Oh, okay. Well, I stopped it. Okay, let's say character select then because I fucked it up. Uh, just under 134. Right? Just under 134. Uh, let's pick the same character, same mission. Old as she. Alright, let's see how long this takes. Weighs several tons, draws rat men like flies, and sounds awful. If you just answered, oh no, not another bloody bell, then you win a pumpkin, you lucky fucker. <laughs> Don't need it all at once because you'll need provisions on your way to destroy. Oh, I just realized that uh, the audio was still low. Sorry about that. That's right, too. I'm gonna have to mess around with settings in some games and whatnot. Obviously. Okay, so this is on the 1X right now, and it was, what, 134 to get to character select? And to get into a mission. Oh, wait till we're, like, in control of the character. Fuck, I didn't realize it took this long until I timed it. Jesus Christ. That is 57 seconds. Fuck. That's a lot longer than I thought. 
And honestly, I, I was saying before we even started, like, I can't see the Series X really improving it because the times are good. Not really. <laughs> a minute and a half just to get to the fucking main menu. And a minute to get into the mission. Nope. Mm. Please. All right. So, boom. Let's see. The time to beat is a minute and 34 seconds. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Again, I try to think of games that I play often that I know aren't going to get covered. You know? Uh, right, I was skipping all this shit. I know ain't nobody else doing Vermintide 2 and fucking Enter the Gungeon and all that, so... I wanted to do like normal games, you know what I mean? Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay. Uh, this is already looking far more promising. It was 1 minute and 34 seconds when I had the character select. And again, this is not Series X enhanced, right? This is one Xbox One X enhanced. Uh, 55 seconds instead of a minute and 34. Fuck. So you got yours today instead of later this week. Yeah, man. It was originally supposed to be today. And then yesterday, it gave me the shipping info. And said it was going to be Thursday. And then this morning, it was like, Psych, you thought, bitch. It's today. How you doing, Hawk? I think you got yours as well, right? Okay, so... We went from, what, a 134? to under a minute and this was what 57 seconds i think i 54 or 57 you win a pumpkin you lucky bleeder don't need it all at once because you'll need provisions on your way to destroy the wretched thing we don't actually know I'm gonna, i mean there's a cutscene but i mean it's the same on both consoles so i did in Renly 2 that's awesome man enjoy you two that's awesome Okay, so this was still 36 seconds instead of 54. That's pr like almost twice as fast, dude. That shit adds up. The initial load is about half as long. And the mission load is about half as long. Only thing that sucks is if you're playing online with a friend. I've been downloading and moving stuff to the internal storage. Yep. These times are wild, right? And you know what? I'll tell you guys the same thing that I heard. Uh, Alana Pierce say a lot. Um, Gary Witta, Snowbike Mike, all these people. Uh, Greg Miller. Uh, all the ones with like the early consoles. They were saying the same thing. They're saying, you hear about the load times. You, you like hear about the whatever. And it's one of those things that's like crazy. And then when you see it in person, it's even crazier. And they were not wrong. Because seeing Vermintide, a game that I've sunk so many hours into, seeing it load that fast is just stupid. Let's do Halo again, because this is just so fucking crazy to me. Oh, right, I was moving that one. Never mind. You know what? Just kidding. Got you. Fooled you. Trixies. Fuck. Um. Fuck. Uh, what did I want to do here? Filter. Internal. So we did... Those we want to, it's just Doom Eternal. Why is this here? What the fuck? Doom Eternal, Minecraft Dungeons, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Tetris. You know what, Tetris? Okay, but, oh, fuck it. Yeah, let's, let's test them all. That's 8.15. Maybe we'll start Yakuza at like 9. I didn't think I would be doing this this long. But uh, to me, this is cool, man. It's cool to see the difference, you know? All right, let's do dungeons. You know what? Hold up. Just kidding. This game starts to slow shit. This one will time it as well. I don't know why it's... What just it? What? I don't know why it's there, but it is good and would piss off Chris. Oh, goner. Oh, I knew it was on the external. I don't know what it... Oh, is it because... No. Oh. I know I had an update. Did it... Update, move it to the internal because that's the default. That shouldn't, that shouldn't happen. I don't know. Okay. Starting. 
Let's see how long this we're back on the 1x now. Uh we're back on the 1x and I want to see the initial load. I don't remember if you could skip this. So I won't do anything just in case. Isn't tourist 8k downscale to 4k on the Series X? Are you memeing? Chad, I hope you've been enjoying this, like I said. This, for me, this is really cool and really fun. Again, as being a streamer, but also being a smaller streamer, dead air is the fucking worst thing. So, seeing these load times either shrink or disappear is amazing. Okay, there also, to be fair, I took a good second or two before I wasn't like mashing A ready to go. But that was a minute and five seconds. Now if I choose a mission, we'll do... Not the daily trial because I don't know if it's going to be... Let's do Cacti Canyon on Apocalypse 7. Start. We'll do the same parameters. Support small, tall streamers. Fuck, these little times are actually not as bad as I thought. This is the 1x. Never mind. They made a noise sound like my feet were plunking on the ground, but nope. I got bamboozled. The Arch Illager seeks that was about 20-ish seconds. That's actually not that bad. I didn't think it'd be that fast. An and forgotten desert temple. God, I love this game. I love this game so much, dude. Uh... How do I play this game, though? Right, okay. No, I remember. Bong, dude. Explosive bows are disgusting. Fuck you, bitch. I don't remember if this game ever gets framey. I don't think so. I can't really remember it ever being slowing down. Oh, there's a Vern. Look at this little guy. I don't remember that. They always have Vern in this game. All right, let's try it on the uh, on the sex. What's up, Zayfod? How you doing, homie? More frames than you could shake a dick at. <laughs> I love it. The dick, I mean. Okay, let's uh let's time that. So that what was that? Fifty-seven seconds. I think I said. Okay, rip. Whatever. You know what? Handicap. You can have it. Xbox One X. Okay, so I think that that was immediately faster. Zayfod, how you doing, man? What it do, my friend? Fellow retro bit champ. Can we get a shout out for Zayfod, please? Please and thank you, because that's my boy. Dude, Zephod more like Zaddy. Also, so far, this thing is cool as hell. I just put my hand over the vent and there's like, fuck all, uh, heat. I did it, I'm a good mod. Dude, even with the sinking... What was that, twice now? Uh, we still beat the load times by 10 seconds. So I'm sure if you were to, even this feels faster, right? It feels faster and smoother. Am I crazy? Even with the bullshit, it was still faster. All right, let's see. Cacti Canyon, same thing. Start. Whoops. Reset. Okay. Apocalypse 7, all that. Start. Curious. See, it does that... Where it sounds like your feet are touching the ground or something, right? I'm not crazy. I'm not fucking crazy. The arch Hello. Seeks to summon armies that was under ten undead, seconds. Using a power that rests deep within an ancient and forgotten desert temple. Finding the temple, however. What the fuck? That was under ten seconds. Compared to like twenty, and even twenty was good. But this loaded in half the time. Dude, this system is disgusting.
Dude, the Shimon Hunters are gonna love this. They can get twice as many completions done in 15 minutes. Just kidding, Achievement Hunters don't spend money. Bro. Yeah. I went there, folks. What's up, dude? Ooh, what's up, dude? Quick question, dude. Uh, what's up, dude? You smoking beers, dude? All right. Minecraft Dungeons uh, passes the, the test, just like every other fucking game. All right, let's try Doom Eternal. Let's try Doom Eternal, dude. I'm actually quite curious. Because I've heard that this game does not benefit that much, but I do not believe that for a second. Why does it keep doing that double? Maybe just because it's like the first time loading these up. Because even on the Xbox One X, uh, like I said, all of these games were typically on the external hard drive. Um, so a lot of them are theoretically loading for the first time. So it's basically as fair a comparison as you can get. So we have what? Doom, Ori, Tetris, and Maneater. And then we're done with our comparisons. And then like I said, I'll uh, probably make a coffee and have a smoke as well bef between this and Yakuza. Might as well. God, this music fucks me up, dude. I pressed A, by the way. Like four seconds ago. 58 seconds ago, literally four days ago. Get stick bug lol. Hello? Is it just broken? Whoops. Okay, I think it was just broken. So let's let's shave off what? Like let's say 10 seconds is fair. Maybe five. Uh I wanna say it was it was a little over a minute. Snapple, what's up, man? Let's do we'll go to game slot one. Mission select. Let's go. What's big? They're all big. They're all fucking ridiculous. This game is actually bonkers. Erdak is big. Erdak. What just happened? There was an error saving your game. Pardon me? Okay, start. I was a little bit slow on that because the game looked like it was going to be... Actually, you know what? This is still fast. This is the 1X right now. Fuck, this is actually going to load in like under 20 seconds. Never mind, just kidding. Wow, yeah, I didn't realize the Doom Eternal loads that fast, huh? On the 1X. Never mind. That's how they get you. But, uh, you know what? Let, let's re- This was being fucking weird. That, that was like 20-30 seconds, but wait, let, let's restart this game because it was being stupid. I want, I want like an accurate idea. So let's once again press A and start at the same time. Speaking as a developer, we 100% fool you with these loading bars. Oh, 100%. You build up the false hope and then you crush their dreams, right? Like, yeah, you're almost done. <laughs> Fucking fell for it, dude. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Also, I didn't know you were a developer. That explains why you're making the website. <laughs> Got him. Got he. Right, we're already at 30 seconds, by the way. So we'll wait till we're in the main menu and going like, wah, 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 wah. Still need to finish Eternal, I've only gotten to the 10th level. It's so- it's my game of the year. It's phenomenal. See? When I pressed A, it worked the first time there. Yeah, this game is, uh... Fucking ridiculous. Okay, so that was like 50... About 51 seconds. That was a lot faster. Now that we had, like, the save loaded and shit. That being said, I'm gonna choose a different mission. So that we don't... Potentially like load faster than I want to uh, Doom Hunter base. I Don't know if it's gonna work or if it's doing that stupid your your save is fucked Really have started on the website definitely haven't just bought the domain and done nothing else yet. Oh, that's good news I'm glad that you're making so much progress <laughs> Also, it looks like that error message was a psych out as well It like popped up and then I didn't touch anything and it just worked. It just works 
Want me to ban him? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Okay. Um, when I do this, it like loads immediately, pretty much. Okay, so the initial load was like 50 seconds and the mission was like 30. How's the X? Uh, so far, ridiculous. Again, my monitors are 1080 60, so I'm not going to see the 4K HDR craziness that people are going to see or the 120 frames or whatever. I'm just trying out the load times and seeing if games run better. And so far, everything has been fantastic. How you doing, Plot Twister? All right, let's try. You know what? I didn't realize now I should have done like different wallpapers for at least today's stream so it's easier to differentiate. Like, I obviously know which one I'm using because different controllers and inputs and whatnot. But uh, so far, it's uh, it's stupid. It's actually pretty fucking stupid how fast this thing is. All right, let's try. Never mind. Let me restart that one. We'll do the same thing. We'll boot it up one time, then we'll close it, then we'll restart it. Because I'm, I'm curious to see what the actual time is. having a day. I hope you have a good night. You know. Let me just look here. I think uh, we're almost pretty much done with all the stuff that I wanted to test that I could test. Again, Destiny, Borderlands, GTA, That I just didn't have the time to install them. But uh, we'll do Ori, Tetris Effect, and Maneater. Then like I said, I'll... I'll Make a coffee, have a smoke, restart the stream just in case. And then we'll start Yakuza for a couple of hours, and then tomorrow we'll continue Yakuza. Really working from home because my roommate had an exposure? Fuck. I'm gonna do the same thing, we're gonna load, uh... Okay. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Come to find out that more than half my research group got exposed from playing in a softball game last week. That'll do it. Fuck. I hope that you're all good and safe, dude. Hope that uh, if you haven't already that you can get tested quickly and safely. All right. The time to beat is 50 seconds. So now four of our department teaching assistants are down for the count. Fuck. Out of how many? Is that like out of eight or out of like 26? Okay, so yeah, these splash screens are pretty much, I mean, they're always going to be the same length. I guess it just depends on if you could skip them. Um, we're all fine. It's just all chaos for the classes that are now missing TAs. You guys have true achievements there? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Well, I hope everything gets sorted out uh, ASAP and that everybody's okay. Okay, chat. Oh, Thanksgiving event is live. That's funny. Okay, so chat. Right away, that initial load was pretty much all splash screens. But we went from 50 seconds to 38. And now here what I want to see is it was Doom Hunter base we tried. And it was what, 30 seconds-ish? 20 seconds, 30 seconds? Anyways, let's see what this is. Because it seems a hell of a lot faster. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I took a second to click. That is about 6 seconds maybe. <laughs> Holy fuck. Holy fuck, dude. Chat, it takes like five, six seconds to load a mission on this fucking crazy and gorgeous game.
Oh, there he is. That's bananas. It, uh, is stupid. Have you tried loading Destiny yet? I haven't had time to install it. Like I was telling Chad, I only had, uh, I only had the console for like four hours before going live. So I was, uh, the past couple of days, I was install, uh, sorry, moving games, copying games or whatever with the external to the internal and whatever of the One X so that I can do some comparisons. And then there was only so much I could do without taking today off, which I didn't want to do because of Yakuza. Whether I had the Series X on time or not, I wanted to start Yakuza. Um, so I figured I would do what I can for anybody that's interested. But besides that, uh, you know, Destiny, like we'll be playing Destiny, we'll be playing Borderlands either way. I would have loved to be able to compare them today, but the file sizes are just fucking stupid. Yeah, so far, I mean, this looks flawless, you know? Everything is like buttery smooth. As you'd expect. Right? But the load times, it took me what? What did I say? Five, six seconds to load a mission? That's like absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid, dude. I walked away a while. Dude, look, okay. Welcome back, gamers. Bowen and Tiger Fight. Let me show you how fucking stupid Doom Eternal is on this thing. The missions load in literally five, six seconds. It makes no sense. So far, everything loads faster. Fucking Vermintide. The mission loads before the guy's done doing his blah blah, so it'll give you the cutscene type thingy and it shows you the subtitles over it. Like, what? That's a thing? So far, this thing is stupid. Um. So, let's see. Mission select. Let's, we'll do a random one, right? Let's do art complex. Um, hey, it's loaded. <laughs> what the fuck? Dr. Hayden is just across the complex. This industrial campus was once the headquarters of the resistance. Pretty jealous man was unable to get a pre-order, worked all day the day to open and yeah. Yep, it, uh, it was brutal, man. I got stupid lucky. But how you doing, Dan? What's up, dude? Let's let's try Ori next. Like I said, we got two or three games to try out of curiosity, and then I'm going to uh, stop and restart the stream, and we'll start Yaksa. All right, so we're back on the 1X. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Now, this game did have uh, performance patches and all that. On launch... This game, oh fuck, man! When I played it, it was it was gorgeous, obviously, and you know, good, really good game, amazing music, like it's really solid. But dude, you would load the map; it would take like fifty-eight seconds to fucking close the menu. Anytime you fast travel, you just lag forever. It was all these performance issues and then it got patched and I remember it was like right after I beat the game and there was an achievement where it's like don't get don't fall into poison water or something and um you need to really okay you need to whatchamacallit um what was it it takes like an hour or two you basically just have to get to a certain point so I remember I wanted to get that achievement I was just like you know what the performance patch came out it's not that long to get to that point. Let me just do it and see how the game runs. And it ran so much better. Already that intro loading time was like super long. But uh, 
the game in general loaded faster the map wasn't as problematic the fast travel was better like so i'm pretty sure like i'm still like left to be desired but it was definitely improved so i'm curious to see the jump and apparently this runs at like 4k 120 on the series x which is what for valhalla they had please read before playing tos type thing at the beginning loaded right past it in one second Enjoy Brav, I'll be back and forth, but need to play. Captain Overachiever. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just use my... My 100% file. This is gorgeous. And it has a 6k motive. I thought you were fucking memeing. What even is 6k? Is that... Is it 6 million pixels or 8? I would assume 6... Like, I know 720p is 1 million pixels, 1080 is 1 million. But no, wait. 720 is 1 million, 1080 is 2 million, 4K is 4 million, right? Which is stupid to think about. I don't remember. We have never been out the web before. Oh, fuck. This is like the spider's baby. I'm sorry. It is different up here. Less dark, less damp. We miss our web. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to slash you. I don't remember how to play this game. Uh, I actually don't remember how to play this game. All right, this game like actually runs really well on the One X now, of course, just to make me look like an asshole. Let's try fast travel because what the fuck? Oh yeah, the bear. Uh, let's see. I I don't know how this runs on the X. 6k downscale to 4k or something what the fuck I feel like Ori needed another month or so to iron out the performance issues yeah wow anybody who played this on launch knows that this is not how it was on launch again this is the one x this is not even the series x this is definitely not how it was at launch the load times were definitely worse and it ran when you fast traveled for the like a good couple of seconds it would constantly hitch it's fucking annoying as hell. And yeah, the map loaded, exactly. Wow. Okay, yeah, I didn't realize that it was running this smooth on the uh, the One X now. What the fuck? This is like totally fine. Interesting. This is totally fine. This is what I was expecting when I played it. I'm glad that people get to play like this now, but obviously it's kind of annoying that... It was broken as fuck when I did it. Okay, well... It looks, sounds, and runs great on the One X. <clears throat> so, I assume the Series X, the only real benefit we'll probably see is that initial load. <clears throat> Imagine me playing on the One S. Was it fucking gross? It was a challenge? I should have waited for the patch, yeah, see? Pre-release, oh my god. And I heard that they completely changed the visuals too, right? Like, there was a patch? Where it was like just totally different. God, just the splash screen is gorgeous. This is where this this is the thing that I think we'll see the biggest difference. Out of all of what we just saw, I think this initial load will probably be severely reduced, and then after that we won't really see much difference. Okay. Not as fast as I thought it'd be, but it's still a hell of a lot better. I remember Pat saying it was like 10 frames per second on the VCR Xbox One. Fuck. Ori 2 on uh, Series X is 6K super sample down to 4K at 60 frames a second, or 4K 120 frames a second. Wow. Wow. Dude, this is so cool to just like... Hop back and forth and see the differences. Like, I don't know if you, about you guys. I'm sure some people must be bored. 120 frames per second support not detected. Already set to run in super sample 6K at 60 frames per second. You could always use display options to toggle between super sample 6K, 60 FPS, 4... Okay. <sighs> That's stupid. What is quick access? I have it downloaded. We'll be seeing the 4K 120 frames this weekend. Bruh, fuck yeah, man. Enjoy.
I feel like it's almost moving faster in the menu, but that could be in my head. But like I said, I think the only real big difference we'll see is that initial load. That was... I mean, that was pretty seamless, right? Looks gorgeous. Obviously, sounds amazing because the game presentation wise is just like stupid. Ori has always been like actually unfair. My brain is still trying to wrap itself around 60 frames a second. I don't know if I can handle 120. Right, because yeah, you were on the base Xbox One, right? So you know, you didn't really have the 60 frames for, uh, for the most part. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about it. The upgrade must be fucking disgusting, right? The load times, the frame rate, and now that you have the 4K, oh yeah, you're gonna you see. You're like the perfect person to get this console. For me, it's, it's the load times because I'm still so, uh, everything is gonna be 1080, 60. But again, the load times for me, especially being a streamer, is just like HDR. Good point. Okay, so yeah, Ori is, um, <laughs> believe it or not, impressive. Um, but it's mostly that initial load that benefits the most. Let's try Tetris Effect. Let's hope that the audio isn't crazy loud, because I have not booted it yet. I'm really looking forward to playing this, but I have not, I've not started it yet. It just came out today. And again, I've spent, I spent my morning at work and my afternoon just moving games and installing games for the sake of the stream. So yeah, I haven't had time to check this out yet. I mean, I've seen some of it, and it looks amazing, and I love Tetris. I'm bad at it because I have no reaction speed, but you'll lose your mind if you play Sea of Thieves in HDR. Really? Yeah, I know, I know a lot of people say that Sea of Thieves is, like, really impressive and shit. I, for some reason, thought it had an optical annoyed I can't use my headset right now. I feel like a lot of people are complaining that it didn't, No. Also, I hope that my folks didn't finish the champagne. I kind of want to have another glass. Also, yeah, for those of you that weren't at the beginning of the stream, I memed it up and had a glass of champagne to celebrate <laughs> the new Xboxes. Okay, so this initial load uh, is anus juice, by the way. Uh, oh, wait, here. Headphones are surround sound strongly recommended for maximum enjoyment. Heard about PS, but I assumed Xbox had one. Oh, maybe it was that then. I don't know. I listen to so much kind of funny that it's hard to remember sometimes. Okay, let's redo that. Let's redo that initial boot. I'm curious. I'm curious, dog. Playing in PSVR, it's insane. I've heard nothing but good things. And start. I'm very curious to see. Also, yeah, this is on Game Pass. Uh, How much is this US chat? Is it 40, 45? Because I know it's 52 Canadian. I didn't think it was that expensive. That being said, it does make sense. But yeah, in PSVR, this game is like stupid. I'm using a poopy Jabra speaker. What's Jabra? See, at least for me, audio wise and setup wise, there was like no difference. It was just swapping HDMI cables and plugging it in another box. I use the same ether like I right now I'm using the the Switch's ethernet cable for the One X. Um and then once the stream is done, I'm going to get rid of the One X for now. Okay, now I'm going to mash A. But yeah, Okay, so that took about about a minute and five seconds. That seems a bit loud, right? Let's just turn it down a little bit just in case. Uh, journey mode, I guess. That just affects music as quality. I, I like I said, everything I've heard uh, about this game is just like amazing. Game Pass, Best Pass, it's true.
I don't... I, I've never learned... I know it's one of the main things. I've never learned how to, like, hold pieces. <clears throat> huh. I'm sure there's, like, a slam. What the fuck? What? Weird. What'd I just do? Uh-oh. Okay. Is it dynamic music? And yeah, now it seems a little bit quiet. The... The main menu made it seem like, uh... It seems like it's almost dynamic. Actually, this might be a little bit too loud. Let me know. Also, why is it so tiny? There we go. Okay. Fuck, I didn't realize you could, like, adjust the zoom and stuff. Huh. Is that the first Tetris to do it? I feel like her vocals are to the, my rotations. It really is. Yeah, it's dynamic to my rotations. What the fuck? That's cool. Huh. What did I say that initial load was? Like a minute and five seconds? Gross. We could touch just there, it's fine. Okay. Is the uh, is the audio okay, chat? There we go. Boo! She love to see it. Oh yeah. So it's like that, huh? Oh, this is fucking cool. I feel like I should be high. To truly appreciate this. Mm. Can't wait to get DMC a motherfucker. All right, um. Yeah, this slaps. Bruh. Bruh. Holy shit, this is so cool. Also, the rumble is brutal, dude. It's so vicious. Every single beat, every single like kick, uh, the controller vibrates, but like hard. Up on the D-pad, thank you. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Well, probably because I don't associate up and down. Even though I play it inverted. Mm. Ah, I was the wrong way, bitch. This is so sick. Oh. Oh, okay. You know, that's a good time to fucking try the other version. Oh, that's really cool, dude. That's really cool. We are definitely gonna have to play some of that at some point because uh, that is shake, dude. That's shake, dude. Um, why is it? All right, so Tetris. Let's see. It was one minute and five seconds. I want to say. Again, the loading the actual like level mission whatever you want to call it was pretty instantaneous so i don't really see a big change there but i feel like this initial load will probably be significantly less hopefully and then it's what just man eater right and then uh we'll do yuck all right 30 seconds 31 seconds about instead of what was it a minute and five? 
So again, like half the time. It seems like on average, the games are, are, are going between two to four times as fast, right? Which is still bonkers. I want to see if there's any noticeable... Yeah, the the dynamic vocals to the to the movements is it's like really weird, but it's really cool. That's really cool. Huh. Ah, you stupid asshole. Mm, how do I hold? Yeah, this is stupid. This is stupid sick. I really like this already. I can't wait to see Ray absolutely decimate this game because he is like stupid at uh, Tetris. Oh. I'm already in love with this game. I guess I'm just gonna have to double check the fucking music though. This is probably stupid, but it's fine. This is really cool. This is a good two-day game. I beat it on PS4. The music selection is nutty. Uh, also, I imagine the bitrate is terrible. Right? It must look like shit on stream. Getting compressed uh, to hell. I wonder if I search how long to beat. Tetris. Uh, Tetris effect. Main story, two and a half hours. Main plus extra, nine and a half hours. Okay. We'll definitely have to stream the, uh, the, like, story mode, per se. This is, uh, man, that was sick. That was awesome. I really, really like that. It looks fine, really. Okay, let's, um, the last test we're gonna do is Maneater. And, uh, then that's it for the comparison stuff. Again, there was there was more stuff I wanted to try. Borderlands, GTA, Halo, all that. But um, I only had so much time, you know. I'm not gonna bother timing this one. We'll know. Tripwire. They're the ones that do Killing Floor, right? If I'm not mistaken. Man, I'm talking tired. What's up, Sam? How you doing, homie? What's up, it? You smoking beers, dude? <laughs> Did 
Yeah, I guess, uh... For the One X, I can pretty much wipe the hard drive, games-wise, at this point. It's so weird to think that just yesterday I had like 400 games on it, and now it's just like... GTFO, dog. Also, this thing is really, compared to the One X, it's not as hot at all. Uh, alright, let's see. Already the load times in this are not great. This again, we're on the One X. Killing Floor is Tripwire Interactive. Whether they're the same as this Tripwire, I don't fucking know. I'm pretty sure it's the same. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was that? That was special. Dead Horse Lake serves as a salient metaphor for human fallibility in the face of I don't of remember how to play this game. Why is it so loud? You know? Why the fuck is it so loud? The master volume was set to 6? Out of 10? Yeah? It's still loud. What? What the frick is going on, gamers? Let's set it to 2. What the hell? It is the Killing Floor Dazzle okay. Is the audio okay now or is it too quiet? Managers aggregated score is 69. Fuck yeah, dude. Incredible. Man, I can't wait to uh, overnight update Borderlands. And install Destiny and then wake up to uh, having no storage already. Yeah, is the uh, audio okay or is it too quiet now? Okay, so that was fine. It's just obviously a little bit slow. Storage is for pussies. I mean, sick meme. Bruh. And also, yeah, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is now on Game Pass, which is crazy. That's awesome. That was one of my favorite games last year. So if you haven't played it yet, do it up. All right, let's turn this one off. Yeah, that's the last time that we see the One X on stream. Sayonara. It's been real. Thank you for your years of service, my friend. Just got word that I'm not expected to get my new processor until December 21st, but now I have a date, which is more than I had before. Fuck, man. Well, I hope that everything goes well with it, man. Uh, man eater. Let's see. Let's see how the load times are. Yeah, access on Game Pass is ripped for the hard drive. Yep. You know, after playing Crisis Remastered, um, the only Crisis I had played before was Crisis 2. I never played 1 and I never played 3. It was one of those things where I was at EB Games and it was like in a, like a $10 bin, so I was like, oh, this looks dope. And I uh, loved it. After playing Crisis Remastered, I do really want to stream Crisis 2 and 3. That loaded so much faster, Jesus Christ. Huh. Swimming at a waste disposal site. Oh wow, dude, that is so much better. What the fuck? That's so much more fluid and smooth. And it loaded like instantly. What the fuck? Was this only a 30 frames per second on the one X? Because this is like Yeah, no, this is like totally better. 
Love seeing people's reactions to SSD gaming. I mean, I've been rocking an SSD for a while with uh, my PC now. It's just crazy to see this on the Xbox, you know? What the fuck? Yeah, this is crazy, Chad. It loads so fast, and I'm pretty sure it's at 60 now instead of 30. Because it is way smoother. Wow. Also, I somehow don't see the little white spot on the bottom right corner of the screen anymore, even though I didn't change anything. That's weird. Alright, I respect the balls. Okay. I'm not, you know what? This, is, this might sound stupid, but I want to see how fast it uninstalls. Because sometimes it just like kind of stays there for like 30 seconds and I'm like yeah even that's faster interesting yeah I um I must say I am very very happy with this so far for sure um again you know we haven't really like properly used it but so far everything loads faster Already, I could see that some stuff uh, runs smoother. And everything is... Every single thing was impressive, right? That was, what, two hours? Two hours and 17 minutes. And everything was impressive. Huh. To be honest, optimized for Series X games will probably load faster than any PC. It's possible. Possible. I'm also seeing it's 9 o'clock. I probably should not make a coffee if I'm planning to wrap up in two hours. But, yeah, okay. Um, that being said, I am tired as fuck. I just realized that, ex that explains it. I've had my coffee this whole time and I'm not taking a sip. Maybe I'll just microwave it. Anyway, uh, YouTube, if you're still here, I guess that you probably thought it was interesting. I hope you liked it. Uh, I'm not going to do another one of these streams because there's no point. I mean, we've seen it. The Series X is fucking awesome. You know, it does what it's supposed to do. It loads faster, runs better. But I, I don't know if you guys notice every now and then I've like checked the heat. It's not that hot at all. It's, it's definitely cooler than my One X so far. But I've also been playing the games for like five minutes rather than five hours. So who knows? But um... Yeah, okay, let me kill this recording.